Right, welcome to this review uh, for a couple of new Necromonda releases that Games Workshop are very kindly sent through. Uh, so I'm going to unbox this one here in this video. Uh, it is the Orlock Gang, so another gang has been released now. Uh, so for House Orlock, and the miniatures look good. I'm Immediately I'm thinking, some of these would be great for uh, alternative Astra Militarum units. Or uh, head swapping. We'll see what the kit looks like on the inside, but potential like head swapping for uh, like things like chaos cultists and stuff as well. So I'm just that's what I'm thinking here as a 40k player. There's potential even to use the Necromunda miniatures because they are fantastic. They're really good, and it's great to see uh, Necromunda been released. I used to love reading the battle reports years ago in the old White Dwarf magazine, and then uh, longed for the day when Games Workshop would re-release uh, Necromunda, and they have, and they're gradually re-releasing all the old gangs. Uh, just revamping them and bring them back, which is great to see as well. But House Orlock here, uh, you get 10 miniatures in this pack. And in this video, I'll also review uh, the uh, appendix of extra book that they've released now, Gang War Part 2, uh, Gaming Supplement, uh, that Games Workshop have released. Uh, we'll look through that as well. But um, we'll look through this one now. Here, Orlock Gang. We'll just open it up. So this is what you're getting inside. The bases are nice for these as well. Yeah, the Necromunda bases are actually pretty cool. Very, very good. If you've got the Games Workshop uh, City Terrain, uh, that Realm of Battle board that comes with the city sculpting, uh, these, these bases here would be perfect for it. Perfect for games with Necromunda as well. Uh, the Hive City style. Yeah, they're beautiful miniatures. They really are good. So there's your full instructions just here. So the poses look quite set. And so you can do some arm swaps, definitely head swapping is all available here, so that's good. And some great head swaps, and uh, I've seen people taking, um, especially kits like uh, Gene Stiller Colts, uh, mixing them up using parts from uh, Astromiton, regular Imperial Guard, Gene Stiller Colts, and then uh, head swapping with those, and also head swapping with uh, Admech as well, like the Hooded Rangers as well, putting heads. Uh, on them, and then you could enter. You could really create your own uh, regiment almost here if you chose these or uh, some of the other gangs that they they have released or planning to release with Necromunda. That's what I'm just thinking as a, a guard player because these these look really cool. Maybe a fight. Maybe if you've got like a urban city style uh, regiment for your guard, you could get these. Yeah, no problem at all. They do look very good. And they're named here, Lander, Zeke, Narcos, Rocky, Gunner Sky, Motu, Fist, Zed, Hackjaw, Grim. They're all named here for you. That does look very good. I'm going to zoom in here. There's, you get two sprues. So it's a squad of ten, or a gang of ten. We'll zoom in here and take a look at the detail. So, just zooming in so you can take a look. So they are sort of fixed. The torsos and so on. I think with some work you could uh, change the weapons around and do the arms. I think that would be a problem. Yeah, there's a lot of changeable arms here you can see. So I think that's doable. And you can cut off some weapons here at the fist uh, and replace, put different weapons on there. I don't think that would be a problem. But uh, these do look superb. Very, very nice indeed. Loads of heads to choose from. Yeah, and you can even, um, just one other thought on conversions. It looks like there's plenty of spare heads with this set, so you could even just take the spare heads from this and then just put them on your regular guard army. That wouldn't be a problem. But uh, it's a nice gang. I like the colour scheme for these as well. They're a bit more um, uh, civilised to a degree, I think. <laughs> they look that way anyway. Uh, the house all look. Seem quite a uh, civilised gang compared to some of the others. So, yeah, it's the shoulder pads here, separate. Yeah, so shoulder pads look good. So, see like there's a harpoon weapon here. I'm getting sort of a navy theme going on with these, the blue and white sort of colour scheme, and then weapons like that. Sort of a, a navy theme going on with those, but that's that nice power fist here. Gauntlet thing, just there, looks very, very cool. That's them. And then, is it, I think this is a repeated I'm just looking here to see if, yeah, it's two sprues the same, I think. 
pretty much just checking. Sometimes they vary it, but it looks like it's the same here. Yeah, it's two sprues that are actually the same. So it's the same sprue repeated here. Um, and you just mix and match the weapons and the heads to give you your 10 uh, gang members. This is the bases here. Very cool, there's some variety of them here. So different ones. Nice and solid as well. Nice, thick, strong bases. But it's a nice finish, that. Games Workshop didn't have to do that, but they've made some nice bases for these. You get 10 of them. Uh, different varieties of those. So looking very good indeed. So that's the House Orlock, or Orlock Gang uh, miniatures just there. And then to coincide with that, uh, they have released part two here of Gang War. Uh, so extra rules and then uh, the rules for the new uh, gang as well. So we'll just take a flick through this. Just to give you an idea of what's inside. It's not too big, it's about... It's not really... Yeah, about 50 pages. Just under. So yeah, heavily featuring uh, gang, the Orlock gang just here. What is this? Gore ha Half Horn, Beast Man, Bounty Hunter. Cool. I wonder, I wonder, you know, I've got a question. I wonder if they'll ever appear in 40k. Very, very cool. Mitch does look great. That is, that is fascinating to see that. Beast Man in sort of the, the 40k universe. Never thought I'd see the day, and he actually, they've actually done a really good job. So, uh, not going to be their own faction, but as mercenaries, like you have Ogrins and Ratlings, Games Workshop could really go for that. You know, they've, they've done it here, and it does look cool, and they could easily release a box set of them. You can add them into your guard army. One of the things about Imperial Guard, I've said it before, is you know, you're collecting Cadians, and it can be quite sort of flat, you know, just regiments of men, all sort of the same. But uh, having sort of other humanish. Uh, units like beastmen, ogrins, rattlings and so on, you can add in uh, a nice spread, a nice bit of variety, but still keeping it pure Imperial Guard. And that's what they could do. They could release uh, a beastmen box, plastic kit, and you could have them as beastmen infantry. Maybe a bit tougher, a bit quicker, a bit better, better in combat, something like that. And I think Games Workshop, Games Workshop could really pull it off. But uh, fascinating to see that model in there. I'll zoom in. Maybe you've not seen this image before. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. See, there he is. I think they've done a great job of that miniature. It really is very, very cool. So, something to... Because, yeah, squats, people have been talking about them. Well, Beastmen, why not? Why couldn't they bring them in? And I think they would be popular. Um, fascinating, the Games Workshop. Uh, we're seeing that. Ne ne it seems to be Necromander's done that a few times. Uh, even with the potential squats as well. It seems to be that they're perhaps teasing us or, or testing the water a bit. Uh, by introducing these kind of models into Necromunda first. Who knows what the future holds. So, interesting, it's, I think it's unique, like a hero sort of character. There's not, there's not multiple ones of those available. Yeah, here it is again, look. Squats. Is this a squat? It's a squat. I say it's a bounty hunter here, but it's... That's going to workshop. Testing <laughs> to see how well they go down. It would be good to see squats come back. It'd be fascinating to see how the vehicles and so on, how they look. Surely it's going to happen. It must happen. Like they can't uh, introduce them into this and then not into 40k. There's the gangs then. The weapon types. Yeah, it's called a harpoon. Yeah, it's definitely that navy sort of feeling to it. Hide gangs, hide guns, and hangers on. So different bounty hunters, great variety uh, here for Necromunda. Cool. And it's it means that you can do your own conversion work as well. You can do your own unique conversion of a model and then introduce it into the into your Necromunda gang, which is great. Look at this one. Wow. Very cool. Another bounty hunter here. Different perils. Here, just to add variety to your games, a furnace, an uh, Archaeotech device, ventilation tunnels, there's loads in here, and you get a good spread of stuff in this book. 
Promethium Cache, Fungus Sprawl, Secure, Secure Vault, Waste Compactor, Xenos Nesting Chamber. <laughs> Interesting. Here's the armory then, all the weapons and stats. Also another bounty hunter. Here he is, Gore Harfhorn, bounty hunter. Is a is a, a beast man, a mutant of the strain Homo sapiens varietus, and as such is possessed of horrible animalistic features and unpredictable and violent temperament. These characters serve to make Gore a figure of dread in the Underhive. But equally, they make him a target for every raving zealot he encounters. As a sanctioned bounty hunter, Gore is entitled, in theory, at least, to go wherever he will in pursuit of his targets. In reality, he has often found himself the quarry though so far none have bested him. Wow. Very cool. Different special rules then here. The deserter bounty hunter. Wow. Ya Umbra bounty hunter. Fascinating. There's your reference then at the back, that's page 47. That's all of your stats then. So it's not just that gang they've introduced, there's a load of bounty hunters inside this book as well. Uh, extra rules, special rules as well, and then uh, terrain features also. So if you're, if you're into uh, Necromunda and you're really enjoying it and you're starting to get through a lot of the missions and so on, looking for a bit more variety, this book's got a lot inside here as well as gang uh, war part one but this part two looks good and it goes perfectly uh, with your orlock gang uh, set as well so that's the review thanks to games workshop to sending these out and so that's the review for the orlock gang and then uh, necromunda gang war part two there it is thanks for watching and tune in next time